So as we know, all of our cores for the custom controls are actually sitting within the pages. As you can see here, for the create employee page, for the home page, we actually used the custom control hyperlink over here. And then for the login page, we used the button control button here. And you can see all the controls that we have written or actually sitting within uh, this particular framework over here. And then these are the uh, elements that we have, which is responsible for performing those operation. But you can see that we have not efficiently used, at least within our course, to use these custom controls because if you start discussing about that, it is easily going to take a lot of time and our course is going to be dragged to focus more on custom controls. And that's the reason we discussed initially that we are not going to tell more about the custom controls. At least it is up to you how you use that. But since we have a requirement right now, like the questions from you guys asking how we can extend this particular custom control instead of just using the synonym control, at least to know the use case of where to use it, I'm going to show you how to use that at least in this video. So what we're going to do is this. If you see the home page here, you can see that we have used our link employee list, which is nothing but a hyperlink. And you can see that before clicking this hyperlink, we actually are waiting for the page to load and waiting for the element to be visible. And then we are clicking. So what if we try to do this? If we are going to click this particular link, we are doing these two operation exclusively for clicking this particular list, which is nothing but a link list. So what if we try to create our custom control to handle something like this? So we are going to do something like wait, which is basically going to wait for our page to load and wait for the element to be visible. Something like wait for visible and then you can do something like a click. So please note that all our code that I'm writing right now, the methods are all in capital letter instead of small letter that you can see here. This is because all the capital letter methods are something that I'm going to use for custom controls just to differentiate. But in Java world, all the methods starts with small letter. So you can stick with small letter, but just to differentiate between the custom controls as well as the controls that you can use within Selenium, which is nothing but the web element controls. I am just using the capital letter. And once again, don't confuse with that. It is nothing to do with capital letter and small letter. All that I'm trying to explain is that it is going to be easy for you to understand that the method which start with the capital letter are always going to be from our custom controls. And the method which is going to start with a small letter are going to be something which is used within web element provided out of the box in selenium so as you can see these methods are not even implemented and we are going to start implementing that within our custom controls that we have written so basically we need to implement all these methods something like wait wait for visible and click method so the implementation is again once again very very simple all you have to do is to start creating a declaration here something like wait and then wait for visible and click so these are the three methods that we are intended to uh, create so these are the declaration that i have did for the button controls and then i'm just going to do exactly the same implementation for this particular control and now you can ask me that we were doing everything in the hyperlink before but why are we suddenly starting to do in the button control just give me a second because we are going to cover that as well so within this particular controls what i'm going to do is this so basically i'm going to start working with the implementation part of all these controls so the implementation is going to be something like this public wide wait and within this wait i'm just going to say driver context dot wait for page to load you can see much simpler it is and then I'm just going to leave this code as it is. So you can see that basically that code is right now wrapped within the custom control so that it can be used within our button control or any other control for that matter. 
and then similarly I'm just gonna write method for the wait for element to be visible and once again this element to be visible is something that you can get using the get wrapped element as how you did before so I'm just gonna do that and then I'm again gonna do a click operation which is another implementation that we need to do and again the click operation we can do using the get wrapped element dot click method that easy it is so this is exactly the same code that you can even copy and paste it in the hyperlink base over here and then here you can do exactly the same code that we did for the button control you can see that it is kind of duplicate I understand what you're trying to say now well don't worry about it yet we are going to refactor that in our upcoming videos of this course but as of now just bear with me we are just going to duplicate these implementation in all these controls and then we'll understand how to resolve this duplication but basically now that we have our custom controls and now if you go back to our homepage.java you can see that the screen line is already gone which means this implementation is already there so now i can straight away comment this particular piece of code and now we can see that it is much readable so basically within this custom control if you hit dot you can see these methods automatically appear and that's exactly going to happen even for the button control because even for button there are cases where you need to wait for the button to load and wait for the button to be visible and then you can click that that easy it is so all the implementations are sitting here and now if i try to run the same piece of code to click the employee list you can see that the code should be working fine without any problem so if i go to the employee list feature once again and then if i run the test this time hopefully the test should run as well there you go the test has started executing and you can see that while it clicked the employee list it actually waited for the page to load and then it clicked it and the test got passed here without any problem amazing so this is the power of our custom control itself guys we can able to start writing the code in such a way that we can keep on extending our custom control in such a way that we want to do it similarly if you want to scroll the element to the end of the page or get the focus of the element you can easily do that as well so you can basically go to the uh, button controls here and then uh, just write something like scroll to element something like this and then all you have to do is to go to the button base and here you need to do the actual implementation for the scroll to element and you can call the javascript to do that and once you get there you can scroll into that particular element so you can see we can keep on extending our custom control in any level of degree so that it can be easy and much flexible than what it is there within the out of the box control which is provided by Selenium itself and in our next video we will discuss how that we can eradicate the problem of having these methods sitting in multiple different classes and make it in one place so that we can have these map controls to be available for all the controls instead of having the implementation in multiple different classes.